Ampler Global is really embracing sustainable IT or green IT as a practice. If you really see the work we do with the partners and the end consumers or clients or customers, we always segregate in three broad buckets. One is burn, which is scope one. Second is buy, which is scope two. And third is beyond, which is scope three. And if I really use this burn by beyond strategy, we have enabled a centralized platform. We are in the marketplace of AWS and Microsoft and really helping enablers like IT to be in the forefront, building a very cohesive data-driven and AI-driven ecosystem. Of course, we believe in partnerships. We believe in data back and forth between a transactional system and our risk management system. And while we are doing risk, we are also doing carbon accounting. We are doing reporting. We are doing scope three analysis, which is a little bit of a topic that everybody else is figuring it out. I feel that the way we would be in the forefront of this green IT or sustainable IT movement is to really make sure that we create IT as a value center, not a cost center. We really enable business to appreciate the business automation. And we really want to make sure that we have transparency in the business. That all comes through data reporting and repeat. That's where we will achieve continuous improvement and IT will get more and more bigger seat in the overall fighting the battle of global warming. As a key needle mover in the ecosystem for the overall sustainability transformation agenda, fighting the global warming. And as the founding member of the organization, I feel verticalization will be a very big focus for an organization to embrace sustainability transformation with IT. If verticalization is not there for, let's say, a partner who goes and solves a customer problem or an organization like us who goes and helps business automation or risk analysis or carbon accounting, scope three reporting work, and the whole nine yards, as I say. Really understanding the vertical will be very, very critical. For example, a pharma vertical, the way they would be running a green IT program or a sustainable IT program from a CIO's office will be a little different than a high-tech company who would run a green IT or a sustainable IT program will be different because for a pharma, R&D will be a big focus. Well, not that a high-tech company will not focus on R&D. Of course, they would, but they're different. That all being said, I feel that green IT or sustainable IT movement will become more successful as we enable more verticalization, more integration between a product manufacturing and usage of the product map of the product in the market and when we do a solid end-to-end product carbon footprint how information technology is enabling the whole transparency because as soon as you use technology it emits carbon it's a very chicken and egg game or there's a dichotomy in the green it motion or a sustainable motion how do you bring automation how do you take a path for net zero because you cannot live without IT, of course. But how do you also use it responsibility? And that depth will come when you bring a very good vertical focus, understand the solution aspect of the business problem, and really differentiate leveraging IT. I'll give one last example. When somebody's manufacturing, let's say, a consumer product, a perishable consumer product, and the leverage of the green IT versus a non-perishable consumer product, and leverage of the green IT, they should be different. The latter should be maybe semi-real time, maybe the former is real time because it is perishable. Making these calls as leaders will be very important to fight the battle of the global warming.